discovered the law of gravity? Who invented calculus? The answer to both of these questions is Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton was a natural philosopher who is considered to be the father of classical mechanics and his contributions to science cover a wide array of subjects starting from optics to physics and mathematics and sometimes even alchemy and biblical chronology. But did you know that there was a man from Kerala in India who proposed pre-calculus almost two centuries before Isaac Newton? Don't believe it? Check out what the University of Manchester posted on their official website in August 2007. The discovery of pre-calculus and infinite series by the Indians predates the discovery by Sir Isaac Newton by 250 years. This was done by a man called Madhava of Sangamgram. He is considered to be the founder of the Kerala School of Astronomy and Mathematics. However, we don't have any documented texts written by Madhava himself. Only a couple of astronomical works of Madhava have come down to us. These works, Venavaroha and Sputa Chandrapti, do reveal Madhava's great mathematical skill in improving the accuracy of the ingenious Vakya system of computation for the moon. Apart from these two, Madhava is also attributed as the author of Golavada, Madhyamanayana Prakara, Mahajayana Prakara, which is a method of computing great signs, Lagna Prakaran, Aganita Grahachara, and Chandravakyana. Madhava may have invented the ideas underlying infinite series expansions of functions, power series, trigonometric series, and rational approximations of infinite series. Among his many contributions, he discovered infinite series for the trigonometric functions of sine, cosine, arctangent, and many other methods for calculating the circumference of a circle. If we consider mathematics as a progression from finite processes of algebra to considerations of the infinite, then the first steps towards this transition typically come with infinite series expansions. It is this transition to the infinite series that is attributed to Madhav. In Europe, the first such series were developed by James Gregory in 1667. This infinite series, today called Gregory Leibniz, for the ratio of circumference to the diameter of a circle was proposed by Madhav. Thus, according to Madhav, if one gets tired after summing n terms in the above series, he may use the following approximation involving an end correction term which is said to be highly accurate. Based on the technique of end correction terms, Madhav also presents several transformed series for pi which involve higher powers of the denominator. Madhav's work is notable for the series, but what is truly remarkable is his estimate of an error term or correction term. This implies that he understood very well the limited nature of the infinite series. One of Madhava's series is known from the text Yukti Bhashya that was written by Jeshtha Deva, who was a later student of the Kerala School of Astronomy and Mathematics. It contains the derivation and the proof of the power series for the inverse tangent discovered by Madhava himself. This series is Gregory series, named after James Gregory, who rediscovered it three centuries after Madhava. Even if we consider this particular series as the work of Jeshtha Deva, it would predate Gregory by a century, and certainly other infinite series of a similar nature had been worked out by Madhava. Today, it is referred to as the Madhava Gregory Leibniz series. Madhava composed an accurate table of signs. Marking a quarter circle at 24 equal intervals, he gave the lengths of the half chords corresponding to each of them. It is believed that he may have computed these values based on the series expansions. In elementary school, we learned the symbol called pi, which we use in geometry, for example, to calculate the circumference of the circle. We are taught that the value of pi is 22 by 7 or 3.1415 and so on. It is a non-terminating value and Madhav's work on the value of the mathematical constant pi is cited in the Mahajayana Prakara, Methods for the Great Signs. While some scholars such as Sharma feel that this book may have been composed by Madhav himself, it is more likely the work of a 16th century successor. This text attributes most of the expansions to Madhav and gives the following infinite series expansions of pi. 
it has long been speculated how madhav found these correction terms by using the first 21 terms to compute an approximation of pi he obtains a value correct to 11 decimal places that is 3.141592653589 the value of 3.141592653598 correct to 13 decimals is sometimes attributed to madhav the text shadaratnamala appears to give the astonishingly accurate value of pi which is equal to 3.141592653589732 that is correct to 17 decimals based on this r gupta has suggested that this text was also composed by madhav madhava also carried out investigations into other series for arc lengths and the associated approximations to rational fractions of pi and he found methods of polynomial expansion he discovered tests of conversions of infinite series and the analysis of infinite continued fractions he also discovered the solutions of transcendental equations by iteration and found the approximation of transcendental numbers by continued fractions detailed justifications for the results discovered by madhava are presented in the famous malayalam work yukti bhasha which is perhaps the first textbook on calculus Madhav laid the foundations for the development of calculus which were further developed by his successors at the Kerala School of Astronomy and Mathematics. Madhav has been called the greatest astronomer mathematician of medieval India or as the founder of the mathematical analysis. Some of his discoveries in this field show him to have possessed extraordinary intuition. The Kerala school was well known in the 15th and 16th centuries in the period of the first contact with European navigators in the Malabar coast. At the time, the port of Mazeris near Sangamgram was a major center for maritime trade and a number of Jesuit missionaries and traders were active in this region. Given the fame of the Kerala school and the interest shown by some of the Jesuit groups during this period in local scholarship, some scholars including G Joseph of the University of Manchester have suggested that the writings of the Kerala school may have also been transmitted to Europe around this time, which was still about a century before Newton. Madhav inspired the later astronomers and mathematicians like Jyotishadev, Nilakantha Soumyaji, and Achyut Pisharathi, who have written significant treatises on mathematics. Till today, we have been familiar with the ingenious discovery of law of gravitation as well as calculus by Sir Isaac Newton, but we are completely oblivious to the fact that Madhava of Sangam Grama. had discovered pre-calculus and infinite series about 250 years before Isaac Newton Newton's genius is unprecedented and we should always remember Newton's contribution but alongside Newton we should also remember the name of this mathematical giant of India named Madhava who was intellectually capable of standing shoulder to shoulder with Sir Isaac Newton so share this video with your followers and help us to spread the greatness of ancient india with as many people as we can stay tuned stay educated and last but not the least know your culture by self investigating the truth shubhaste panthana santu jai hind jai bharat